Hello ladies, my name is Patricia, also known as Guys Design One here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. So I wanted to come and share with you guys what my favorite beauty finds were for the year of 2014. 2014 was an awesome year for me and I cannot wait to see what this year has to bring. It was great in, in, for, in life and in the world of beauty as you guys will see. I feel like this video is a tad bit late but we're still in January so I feel like I could still get away with it, right? Right? So anyway, um, they're gonna be a lot of, um, sorry. Just a second, a second. So I have an array of things to share with you guys today. So it's gonna be a long one. Go ahead and get your coffee or your tea or whatever, and let's get it popping. So I wouldn't be a YouTuber if I didn't share with you guys what my favorite candle was in 2014, and it is right here. It is, of course, from Bath and Body Works, and it is called Blackberry Bramble Tea. And this is what it looks like. Of course I love it, right? Because I'm showing it to you guys in this video. But it was one of those ones where I, you know, I smelled it and I put it down and, you know, somebody walked up to me. They were like, you know, it was one of the people that worked there. was like, hey, you might not want to put that one down because it smells really good. And so I sniffed, smelled it again and I was like, oh, it's nice, but is it worth it? You know, because these things are kind of expensive. And so she walked away and I was still kind of smelling it, trying to make my decision. And somebody else came up to me, a customer, another customer came up to me and was like, hey, you do that. Do that right there. And I did, and I definitely do not regret it. I went back to Bath and Body Works. I, I just came back from Atlanta not too long ago, and I went back to Bath and Body Works, and um, I got a whole lot more. So I did get it quite like later, later in the year, but it's topped any candle that I bought all year. That's how much I love it. It definitely has that berry scent to it, so it's like sweet, but it has like this midnight darkness about it too. It smells really good. I actually have one of the candles burning. If you have a chance, pick this one up it just comes alive when it's burning so the next thing I want to share with you guys is a nail polish and it is um, and it did come out in 2014 this is the Sally Hansen um, miracle gels and that's what it looks like I share with you guys that I'm an artist and so I wash my hands constantly and so finding a nail polish that is able to stay on my nails without chipping too quickly is like you know really hard and so I found these and they both to last two weeks in the nails and for me they don't quite last that long just cuz like I said I wash my hands a whole lot however they do last about five days without chipping and I can even push it to seven without them looking terribly terribly bad so as opposed to like after two days is when I see chipping with other nail you know polishes and that's even with using base coat and top coat um, so yeah I really really like these I have a few colors um, this one right here I, I had um, on my nails before I put this on a few days I put this on a few days ago this is chaos by Urban Decay but I had um, get mod and it's just stark white and I also have let's see pink Cadillac -er. Um, and a few other colors too and this is the top coat that you get that you put on top of um, the nail polishes that make them last super long. That is my favorite nail polish formula that came out in 2014. My favorite nail polish color to wear last year was for whatever reason this color by Essie um, for the twill of it and those of you guys subscribe to my vlog channel you guys may remember seeing this nail polish a lot on my nails from like August to October. I just had it on non-stop and it's like very I mean like a holiday color maybe just because it has you know it's green it has the um, red hues to it and it has like this metallic thing about it but I just really like it because it's really it's kind of grungy but very pretty at the same time so this is my favorite color to wear um, last year and it's called again for the twill of it and it is by Essie okay on to food my favorite one of my favorite finds in 2014 it was this right here and it is um, a tea, it's a detox system called Tiny Tea from YourTea.com and they sent me this and let me tell you something, I really really liked it. It's like one of the very few teas that I'm able to drink without sugar or anything else in it because it's definitely, it has the sweetness to it and I love it because it helps with, for me, to prevent like bloating and, and things like that and it really helps to keep my, you know, GI tract. Um, moving. So definitely check them out, yourtea.com. I'll leave that information down below. Now on to the wonderful world of makeup. Let's go ahead and start with, um, I don't know, where should we start? Let's start with face first. How about face products? Okay, so you, this thing, this should not be new to you guys, but my favorite face find or foundation find is Immaculate um, by Hourglass, the liquid powder foundation, mattifying, oil-free, awesomeness in a bottle. Best 
foundation hands down for oily skin i would i would recommend this to any any anyone i mean like if you have not not a good combination if you have oily 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 skin i know you will love this It'll be a lifesaver for you my color is um chestnut and it is a darkest shade fyi i know it sucks i have a whole video review on this foundation now go ahead and leave that down below as well setting spray i found this in 2014 and i'm not too sure if it was new to this year or last year but um it definitely has been a lifesaver and it is a setting spray by nyx and it's called matte finish and it has been my favorite setting spray um I'm gonna say thus far and I, I use it constantly um, I found it last year though and I was using the elf one and I had tried the Urban Decay D slick and the Urban Decay all nighter um, but as you guys know those are quite expensive and so this one is $7.99 so it isn't the cheapest thing it's not ch as cheap as the elf one but it still performs similar to Urban Decay D slick very very similar to that particular one so if you like mattifying products and you would like a matte face and you have oily skin definitely try this one out because you feel it locking in all of your foundation face primer my hands down favorite one that I found in 2014 um, and my hands down favorite I want to say of all time thus far is the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and this is what it looks like white and purple packaging um, definitely I've been thinking about it for $4.99 I mean you get so much for your buck there are some higher end ones that perform just as well and comparable and some and even a little bit better however you cannot beat this price um, so it has 30 mils in it quite a bit of product it lasts me a very very long time a little bit goes a long way and it has a more of a cream consistency rather than a silicone but it it really does wonders and definitely see the difference when i do not use this particular one moving on to blush okay so my favorite blush find in 2014 i don't think i didn't find this in 2014 but i really went ham on, on purchasing them in 2014 and though and that is the la femme blushes and that's what they look like this is a single one you can buy them in pans and put them in palettes but these are the single ones that I have here that I'm showing you guys and it is extremely inexpensive and the pigmentation is awesome and there's tons of colors that go perfect and beautiful with deeper skin and so I'm going to show you three um, of the colors that I really 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 like my three favorite colors um, from La Femme first one is called Bordeaux let me show you what Bordeaux looks like this is what Bordeaux looks like Ooh. It's a true plum and it has some sparkle throughout. Very, very, very pretty. I wear this blush maybe at least two times a week. Um, love, 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 love it. Um, it's definitely a great fall winter blush um, and looks beautiful on deeper skin. You know, if you have fair skin, definitely be careful with these because these are very pigmented. So you want to start light and build up. The next favorite um, from La Femme is this one, which is fair. It's a very unique color and it is called Purple Passion. Look at that. Isn't that pretty in a blush? You would not think to use this as a blush, right? Very, very pretty in a moment of color. And the last color that I want to share with you guys is called Cinnabar and Cinnabar is a very beautiful um, mm, terracotta color. Um, it does have a little bit of sparkle in it. It has this bronzes about it that makes it really, really perfect for like summertime and sunny days. When you use this on top of like a really nice bronze contoured face, like it looks amazing. Speaking of bronzer, the only one that I have to share with you guys in this video is called. Um, Mandalay Dusk and it is an illuminating powder by Shea Moisture. Um, hands down the my favorite Shea Moisture cosmetic product that came out and this did come out last year and this is what it oh, looks like. It's a warm brown and it does have like this satin thing about it. It's very very smooth. The formula is really really nice on this. There's a lot of product in here. It comes with a mirror in the back and then a brush here that I've never used but it comes with it nevertheless it's worth every penny honestly um Shea Moisture did their thing did their thing with this one okay so I think those are all the face products that I want to share with you guys so let's go ahead and move on to eyes 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 right okay so the eyeshadow formula that came out last year that I really really like is the one um is by makeup forever and I want to show you guys what um that looks like these are the first two colors that I bought I think it's called their artist shadow line and it's supposed to have some sort of like gel 
gel to powder consistency about it it's really really nice very 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 creamy very 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 pigmented i mean literally a dream to work with i mean there's some shadows you kind of make it work but the other shadows that just do their job and this type of shadow <laughs> that just does its job and i love this color right here as a transition color this really really warm um terracotta ish type of red brown love it and this orange is actually really really nice too let's move on to palettes eyeshadow palettes one of my very favorite things to buy and one of them um did it come out in 2014 i'm not sure it might have don't know i think i sure think it did but anyway i think it did <laughs> And the other one I got really, really late in the year. But let's go ahead and talk about the one that came out first. And that is the Naked 3 palette by Ever Decay. Really, really, really nice. This, um, you know, I, I do have a review on it. So if you want to see that, definitely check it out. I'll leave that video linked down below. And I talked about it and how I feel as far as um, whether this palette is women of color friendly and whether I, and whether I feel women of color should purchase it. I love... I love this. I love the rose gold thing about it. Um, like I mentioned in that video, it's not one of those palettes where I can just pick up and go and it, it can run solo on its own. Not in my opinion. However, it has some really, really nice colors in here and I really think it is definitely a good and, you know, a good buy for those of you guys who make are makeup enthusiasts. Um, I really, really like these two colors in here, Buzz and Trick. Um, and this black heart, it's like a black with um, red spark, red and pink sparkle in it. It's really, really, really nice. And it's a very, it's a rather unique color um, as well. Perfect for, perfect for bridal looks. Um, if you're a makeup artist and you do a whole lot of bridal, you might want to invest in this because these um, pigments, that rose gold look, looks very, very good with white. My second um, palette fade for this year came out rather late in the year I got it when it was only available to uh, VIB um, Sephora I think VIB Rouge um, Sephora, Sephora members um, which was I want to say it was maybe late in November so I get I did get this quite late in the year or maybe October I can't remember but it is the um, Too Faced semi-sweet chocolate bar not to be confused with the original chocolate bar this is the semi-sweet one this one came out second this is what it looks like right here. I really, really like this. This is a good standalone palette. And it's something I would recommend for those of you guys who are just dabbling in makeup. Because it really gives you a wide range of things. And I think it's really women of color friendly too. This black right here is a dream, 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 dream to work with. I have a tutorial using this palette. And I will definitely leave it down below. I think it's called the like Cozy Winter Tutorial or something like that. It has a beautiful pop of blue right here. Let me go ahead and swatch that blue for you guys so you guys can see that. Very, very nice. Very 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 nice let me put it on my skin too put it over my scar here <laughs> so you guys can see it oh it completely covered my scar look at that very very pretty blue let me swatch the black too so you guys can see how much life oh look at that black i mean that black is that's not a fake black you know how sometimes you get um palettes and you look at the black and you're like that's not gonna do nothing especially if you have deep skin but this black right here but this black right here look at oh, look at it let me blend it out just a little bit so y'all can see. <laughs> okay. Finishing out the eyes, I'm going to share with you guys a mascara. And you guys knew this already too. It is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And um, I absolutely love it. It is the mascara that I'm wearing right now. And the reason why I don't wear falsies as much. Um, just because it lengthens, it volumizes, it helps to you know, spread everything apart without it looking thin and spidery. It's buildable. I absolutely love this one. I really love what this does for me. My favorite brushes that I found in 2014 have definitely been the Sedona Lace um, brushes, particularly the Midnight Lace set. And these are two of the brushes that came in the Midnight Lace set. This is the, I think it's like the Flat Top Kabuki 928. This is the Angle Contour 602. I use these brushes like almost every single day, especially this one, to um, do my contour with. I absolutely love these. Um, I do have a coupon code for Sedona Lace. I'll leave that down um, below. Check them out. Um, these brushes are soft and very nice quality too for the price. So check them out. Okay, moving on to lip products. I'm going to go back in just a second and cover some other things. Let's go ahead and go to lip products. Um, my favorite, I want to say Drugstore Lip Fine has definitely been the Maybelline Matte Lipsticks. They're very, very surprisingly very, 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 very nice. And... Um, I have two to share with you guys um, 
today and this is what the packaging looks like if you guys can see that so very nice packaging um and the two colors that i have here are daring dar what darling nude and touch of spice and touch of spice i absolutely love and it did make my last favorites um was featured in my last favorites video and that is what touch of spice looks like and i'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one so you guys can see that Touch of Spice is this color right here. And I'm also going to show you guys what Darling Nude, Darling Nude looks like. Darling Nude is the color that I have on my lips right now. And it's like, you know, that peachy but slightly pink nude color. And it's right here. Can you guys even see that? Yeah, so that's what that looks like. So this was my favorite formula to come out the drugstore last year definitely nice and so they have a lot of colors so definitely check um, them out but I really like their new colors and I feel like you know these two go really really good with um, deeper skin they actually have an orange that's really really nice that I do want to pick up as well my favorite higher end formula find is I know the NARS audacious um, lipsticks so 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 very nice I mean the formula is awesome it goes on um, kind of kind of like um very it has this very creamy thing about it when it first goes on and does look glossy but dries down to a semi matte semi matte finish and it has good staying power you really wouldn't think so but it, it really does they have an array of colors in this line i mean it's definitely very very superior um the formula is let me go ahead and swatch this one for you very very pigmented very very nice very very comfortable on the lips and of course everyone loves how it has this magnetic um, closure here at the top this particular color is called Angela and that is Angela right there a very very vibrant vibrant beautiful pink NARS did their thing with these it is expensive I bought mine during the um, uh, VIB sale so I didn't pay full price definitely a luxury product and just a dream to have on your lips. Another formula fave um, that I found and came out in 2014 um, are these, or did it? Yeah, I think it did. Too Faced. Um, Too Faced did their thing last year. Um, melted um, liquefied longwear lipsticks. And that's what it looks like. This color is called Melted Ruby. The person who sold me on these um, was Socialite Sandy. <laughs> okay. Hey, girl. Um, I, I got to meet her in 2014, too, in St. Louis when I was um, there doing um, a travel nursing contract. So, anyway, she sold me on these. I saw these on her, this on her lips, this particular color on her lips, and I was like, I got to have that in my life. I mean, it doesn't look good as good on me as it does on her, honestly. Let me tell you something. I love the texture of these. Um lipsticks it, it goes on glossy just like the nars um um audacious lipsticks but dry down to a semi matte finish as well the staying power is awesome i love this um applicator very very nice and this squeeze tube lots of product in there um love it going back to the drugstore um i'm going to share with you guys with my favorite color my favorite lipstick color these were my favorite lipstick formulas that I found and that came out in 2014. My favorite color that I found in 2014 is by Iman. Can you believe that? This is my first ever Iman lipstick and I honestly want to go back for more. Um, saw it in a video on someone and just had to have it. Every time I went they were out. I was like there's something good about this. Clearly this is good because it's always gone no matter where I go. They're always out of this particular lipstick until I found fell on it at a Target nearby and it was the only one left so I would have gotten two if they had it but let me go ahead and swatch it for you it is a beautiful color beautiful beautiful purple and honestly this isn't doing justice I'm gonna go ahead and show just a few pictures and clips of this actually on me it is the lipstick that I had on my last video got a few compliments um on that um from you guys and also if you're subscribed to my vlog channel you guys have, you guys will see that I have been wearing this lipstick quite a bit I mean it's just a beautiful true purple that has this blue like it flashes blue at you flashes blue at you it's called taboo is the color let me show you guys what it looks like in the tube so you guys can see that as well very 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 pretty color i actually wore this for um new year's eve and new year's day the pencil so my favorite lip pencil is not new to last year however i rock 
the mess out of it last year and it is Night Moth by MAC and I will and I said this I know I've said this before but I will come back and do and must have lip liners for um, women of color and Night Moth is one of them purples pinks you can even wear it with your reds you can even wear it with your oranges I mean take this and mix it with Lady Danger by MAC and come back and tell me how uh, <laughs> Look, I can't live without this one. I mean, really, really, I really, really can't. Next product I want to share with you guys is no stranger to my channel as well, and it is Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. The color that um, I have right here is dark brown. They recently changed um, the names of their colors. I think they added maybe a few. Um, I was previously wearing brunette, um, but I went to Ulta, which I think is where I bought this, and they actually had a display showing like if you used to wear this color this is what it's called now if you used to wear this color this is what it's called now which was really helpful and so brunette is comparable to dark brown and that's the color that I use for my brows and I absolutely love it on the other side of the pencil there is a spoolie and it's actually really nice really really sturdy and you know I just kind of use that to fade out the front right here and distribute the product throughout. I solely use that product for my brows. I know they just they came out this year with the I think it's like the brow something palmade, dip palmade. Um but you guys know I'm really into you know more of a natural look and I have thick brows naturally anyway. So it's like I really have to be careful what type of product I use because I will be looking crazy and harsh so um and my final favorite that i want to share with you guys my final makeup favorite is right here and i did this a whole lot this year and it is a milani shadow eyes pencil 12 hour wear eyeshadow and the color is almond cream and i use this a lot in my waterline um, because it's not stark white it's not as harsh and looks more flattering with women of color it helps to give you that wide-eyed fresh awake look um and so i really 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 like it let me go and swatch this one for you guys too so you guys can see and that's what it looks like right there very very pigmented and these things don't dry out I really like these ones by Milani you might also want to check out um, the ones by Jordana and I have a few of those too Jordana doesn't have a color from my knowledge that looks like this they have some really nice blues and greens that I have that I picked up um, but you guys know Jordana and Milani same company same thing um, except for you'll save money with Jordana but I think that's it guys that's what I want to share with you guys um, you know these are the things that I loved and found found in 2014 um share with me what are the things that you found and that you loved in 2014 do we have a few few of these things in common let me know hit me up in the comment section i love to hear from you guys i hope you guys are well and in good spirits whenever it is that this video meets you hit me up on twitter instagram and facebook i'll be looking forward to seeing you guys over there and on my vlog channel as well all those links will be down below for you i'll see you guys next time in another video and as always god bless